OK, so what if you want to detect input in Unity? Well, there's lots of different ways you can do that. Uh, we're just going to take a look at a very simple example, uh, pressing the space bar and receiving information back. So in this scene, all I've got is my camera and an empty game object. So as usual, create an empty object and you'll just get a game object with a transform on. So what we want to do is create a new JavaScript, which I'm just going to call keypress. And if we edit that, what we'll get again is this update function. Now, you do need to put control, um, or rather input, into the update function because it needs to check every frame whether you've pressed a key or a mouse button, for example. So into that update function, what I'm going to do is say if input, capital I, dot get button up. So you can say get button or get button down, um, but get button up is really good because um, it's kind of sure that you've definitely pressed the key and let go of it. Okay, so whereas if you're holding down that particular key, you don't want whatever you've chosen to do to happen too many times. So get button up is good for that. So into get button up, we pass in um, a particular named axis. So Unity calls all the different controls that it has in its input manager axes. Okay, so we've got uh, an opening bracket there for the whole if statement and then a set of brackets there for the name of the particular thing. So again, we're going to use our old friend debug.log uh, in order to check whether this is working. And we're going to put in, we have hit the space bar. Very exciting. Okay, so every frame it's going to be listening out for um, whatever we've assigned to jump which is the space bar you'll see that in a moment and if we do press that and let go of it i.e. up it will print that in the console so remember save your script then switch back to unity and what we're going to do to make this actually active is we need to assign it to a game object in the scene so I'm going to drop that onto my game object and you can see it appears as a component there. So what is that jump thing all about? So let's have a go and have a look at the input settings. So edit project settings input will bring up the input manager and if you collapse down axes you'll see that there's uh, 17 different ones in there at the moment. So if you have a look at jump the name is the thing that we put into the script and you can see the positive button there is set to the space bar and there's a load of different um, phrases that uh, are tied to different parts of the keyboard and you can see a link to where you find out what they are in the component reference below this video. Okay so all that's left to do is to test if that works so if I press play you can see there's nothing happening at the moment and if we look at the console let go of the spacebar on the game view ideally let go of the spacebar and it says we have hit the spacebar. Okay so that's basic detection of input in Unity.